Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I just want to show you something here which, which I've been using a lot lately in my report development, and that's using conditional formatting within chart visualizations. Now, this is this is relatively new. I think I've demoed it maybe one time before on the on the on uh, within the channel. Um, but I've just started using it so much, and I just want to show you how far you can take this. You can create looks and feels in your and in, 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 in the way your visualization um, works. Uh, you can you can create things that just were so difficult before, um, and you know now it's actually not that difficult. So what I want to do is I just want to walk you through a couple of examples, and then we'll see how we can um, use this conditional formatting within visualizations. Okay, so I'm just going to create a table of data here. Okay, and what I want to do is I want to showcase my, this first example. I want to showcase uh, if the current day was larger than the previous day revenue, right? And I want to show that visually in this visualization. Okay, now to do this, I mean, this probably wasn't even possible before, but fr from a visualization perspective, this is now really, really actually not that difficult. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new measure here. Okay, and I'm going to go uh, and call this uh, revenue uh, logic. Uh, we'll call it daily revenue logic. Okay? Daily revenue logic. Okay, and so I'll just do a little bit of it first, just to show you step by step how we get there. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go calculate total revenue. Okay, then I'm going to I'm going to use data add, which I normally use for simple things like this. Okay, then minus one, and then we're going to go day. Okay, so we could we could just start with we could we could start with this really easily. Okay. Um, okay, so that's what the so you see here that's what it was the day before, right? Okay, so then what we need to do we're going to in, uh, increase our logic a little bit. What I'm I'm going to actually turn this into a variable. I'm going to go this previous day, previous day rev okay then uh, I'm gonna go um, let's create another variable here actually we'll go current day rev which is just gonna equal to total revenue okay then I'm gonna bring write my logic down in here if uh, previous day rev is greater than current day rev right we want it to equal to one. If not, we want it to equal to zero. Okay. So this is the type of logic that you need to create first. Okay. Then I'm going to, ah, I don't need to bring it. It's already in there. Okay. So you see here now, let's just double check here. Is this right? No, it's, it's the, it's the wrong way around. So what we probably want to do here is make, because I want it to be one. I mean, it doesn't really mess it, but I want, I want it to be the, this is the way that I envisaged it. So we've got here, if the current day, so what we're, what we're trying to do here is we're saying, okay, if this day was bigger than the previous day, well, then we want this to equal to one. If it wasn't, we want it to equal to zero. Okay, then how do we then make this visually appealing? Because this this isn't, it's not that great in a, in a table, even though this logic um, is important to work into a table so that you know that it's correct. But what we can do within here, which I love, um, and, and, and hopefully this is just sort of opening your mind to the world of opportunities here, I can go data color within this visualization and I can click on, um, this button here for conditional for some conditional formatting so I click on that then it opens up this pop-up box and then what I want to do is I want to go through to rules right okay now the awesome thing about rules is that you can select any field or measure so that logic that we just inputted we can then go and select it daily revenue logic right and then I can say if it is equal to zero I want it to be, say, a certain color. I want it to be, let's let's grab, say, um, let's grab, let's just keep it the blue. And then I want a new rule if it is equal, because we know it's only going to be equal to one or zero, right? And if it is equal to one, the number, then we want it to equal a different color, right? And then this now will be overlaid. These this this visual these color these colors will be overlaid into the visualization. Okay, so I can just go okay. And check that out now. Now we have this really unique way that we've visualized this. And not only that, 
it still works with the context that we place into our report, right? So I can go, um, I'm just gonna make sure that I've got the edit interactions on right. So we can obviously change the time frame as well if we want to, but let's let's just go a shorter time frame for this example. Then we can um, select say a different uh, context within our report, so a different different way to slice and dice our data, and then we've got this unique visualization here based on some you know logic that has nothing to do really with the actual uh, value that we're showcasing in the visualization. Okay, and then we can like get even more granular. Say we wanted to say have a look at a uh, you know particular um, state here, right? Um, let's just see that doesn't seem to be filtering. So let's just have a look. Let's just double check that this uh, is actually linked up correctly. Right. Because, because that is coming from the wrong area. So I'll just grab that and put this into here. So it, it works with the model, that's the key thing. And it all is based off this logic, right? Now, it's, you know, to, to me, this is, this is seriously awesome. Just think about the ways that you can show any piece of information now. Uh, and you know, it, it really is just up to, is left up to your mind, you know, how creative you are um, from an analytical point of view is, and how you want to showcase things. Like uh, another idea I thought is, well, maybe we want to just highlight the day, which is the, the, the next highest um, value, right? So maybe we get to here and this is the this is our highest sale day. Well, we want to make sure that, that that sort of sticks out to us, right? Now, a lot of this was just so difficult. I mean, I didn't even think you could, you literally could not have created this visual, this type of visual historically, right? And now we just have, um, with this, this slight tweak to how we um, can color visualizations, we have this whole world of opportunity um, uh, available to us to represent data in a, in a, in a really compelling way, okay? So look, that's what I want to cover. You know, it's, it's really, I just wanted to show you one example that you could turn into, you know, many examples, right? So hopefully, hopefully I can just inspire you with the potential here um, because, you know, it's something that I've, I've been personally using a lot. Um, you know, it's really, really enabled me to showcase insights in my reports that I've been developing, especially in the Power BI Challenge. You know, I've been able to develop them in such a unique way. You know, and, and you don't even need to do it by date, right? It could be by customer, um, there could be just so many other pieces of uh, logic that you embed um, based on whatever you know uh, column you use within your visualization or whatever dimensions you're using, etc. Okay, let's wrap things up. Thanks for listening in. Uh, if you liked, I like this idea, and you can see the use for it, definitely throw the video a like. Appreciate it as always. Any thoughts? Throw a comment on, on the video. Um, you know, there's, there's 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 definitely you know a lot. Uh, you know, let me know which how you're going to use this. I think I think it'd be interesting to get your get your thoughts on it. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA. Got uh, lots of great content coming out here. Okay, all the best.